It's time for another two-minute tech tip. My name is Geert-Jan Wielenga. I'm a member of the Oracle Developer Tools team. In this two-minute tech tip, we're going to set up the audit framework, which enables us to identify and analyze problems in our Oracle JET applications. The key reason why Oracle JET, the Oracle JavaScript Extension Toolkit, has been put together is to help you in the creation of user interfaces for enterprise applications. Enterprise applications tend to be large, with a lot of code written by many different developers over numbers of years. Simply by following the steps in the Oracle JET Developer Guide, as shown here, you can very quickly and easily identify problems that may have crept into your code without you being aware of it. Once you have installed the audit framework and run the init command in the root of your project, you will find in the root of your project a new configuration file. This configuration file is specifically for the audit framework. Use it to define the rules that the audit framework must apply to the code in your application. Before you audit the application for the first time, you do a dry run to confirm the default configuration for the application files that the framework will audit. Once you have completed the dry run, go ahead and do the first audit of your Oracle JET application. Start with the default settings that the configuration file provides. Then go to the Oracle JET developer guide and see all the different ways in which you can customize the configuration file. In subsequent two-minute tech tips, we will continue exploring the audit framework. We highly recommend that if you are using Oracle JET, that you also use the audit framework, because it easily and quickly helps you identify problems that may have crept into your code without you being aware of it. Was that a good tip? I'm happy about it. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.